Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Uh, last episode, we ended mm. off with a explosive end where the monorail got blown up. Literally nothing I could do about it, because that thing just went out of the station so quick that I couldn't even, uh... I couldn't really do anything about it. So, uh, this episode I've, uh, managed to acquire the last fire hose nozzle. And then I realized I have a surplus of fire hose nozzles in my uh, inventory. Apparently I got four when I just needed two, so um, so that happened. Which is kind of by accident. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to talk to the chef here. Tell him about the shipment. Tell him that we could fix the uh, food processor that he owns. And then, we're going to carry on with uh, taking down a couple fiends. And then uh, maybe do a couple other side quests. That might lead us somewhere. Hopefully to the uh, finale. Because it feels like we're getting really close to it. I think we just need like a little bit of motivation here and there. And maybe, maybe some other things as well. Or maybe we just have to go to the dam or something like that, because everyone's been, everyone's been like mentioning the dam. So like maybe I should actually just go over there and kill him. Howdy, looking for Chow? Uh, Crimson Caravan has agreed to trade meat and spices. That should help balance our stock of food more reasonably and save us a ton of caps. Good work. Okay. Uh, remind me where I should look for supplies. What do you need to know? Um. Okay, we already did that. Um. What can I do for you? Let's see. Okay, let's fix your food processor, shall we? There we go. Good news. Hey, hey, hey. back for seconds, huh? Yep. Uh, fix your food processor. Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. There we go. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. No problem. And uh, while we're here... I want to trade you something real quick. Damn, he's got a lot of purified water. Um, miscellaneous. Don't really need the fire hose anymore, so you can have that. In return, I would like your pork and beans. That's about it. <laughs> That's all I could give you. Okay, let's see. Where can I look for what supplies? Do you need? Where should I look for spices? The Crimson Caravan would probably be able Hell, we have a whole research department. Yeah, I don't think he really means that. So, we're... We're done on this end. I don't have to deal with, uh... Food processor or carrying any more crap. Now all we gotta do is go out and kill some dudes. Which I'm already up for doing. So, we're gonna have to talk to Little Buster first, just to see what's going on. And then after that, uh, we're gonna go out and probably kill those fiends. Starting with, uh, let's see. Who's on, who's on our list right now? Three card bounty. Yep. Okay. So we gotta kill Cook Cook. We're gonna probably take him down with, like, a leg shot or something like that with our hunting rifle. Because our hunting rifle is pretty beast. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy, I gotta talk to you. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Why well, are you you're too late. Grenade? I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dotri owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Uh, I should ask you about Cook Cook. The rapist with the flamethrower? Yeah, that's a combination I stay the fuck away from. I was stalking him for a while. I'm real good at that. Watching people from where they can't see me, you know? Only one thing I learned about that asshole. Keeps a bunch of Brahmins. Most of them he roasts whenever he feels like it. But there's one. Must be his pet or some shit. 
Doesn't let anybody near that Brahmin. Somebody puts a bullet in her, I bet that piss him off good. Might make him careless, too. Hmm. Interesting. Kill Queenie. That might be interesting. Um. Why does Daughtry owe you caps? Because I killed a couple of marks for him, that's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? Nope. I take it they were fiends? Damn right they were. And they were good too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. Okay. Nice talking to you. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna head out. Probably... We're gonna start north and make our way south. Maybe a cook cook would be somewhere around there. Hopefully I don't get jumped by assassins. I keep forgetting like there are legion assassins after me. And they're everywhere. Okay. So we gotta pretty much take a queenie. I want I want to take a queenie just to see what happens. This guy just set me up for like a pretty nice goal right now. So I really want to take out Queenie and see what happens. Okay. Let me make sure I got my good old trusty, nope. My trusty sniper rifle with me. Because I really want to dome Queenie and see what happens. Okay, is that Cook Cook up ahead? Please tell me that's Cook Cook. Tell me, like, I'm already there. Apparently, there's a marker over here somewhere. There's an un unexplored building or something over there. I think I see the Brahmin. I want to see him go batshit crazy. Okay, so Queen is that one. Domed. Nice. Oh, I think that's him. You better go check it out, buddy. Yeah. Gonna drop his health down pretty low. Now I just have to find a good vantage point to really knock this guy out. Ooh, something exploded. Come on. Come on. Oh, there you go. Someone's on fire. Did they actually kill him? Holy shit, I think they actually killed him. Ooh, there goes your arm. There's one more guy. Is that the camp? I don't want to alert anybody. Okay. Pretty much gotta wait up on this one asshole. Okay, let's check out Bon Queenie here. Some Brahmin meat? Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Okay, you know what? We just go up close and personal with us. Enough of the sneaking around. I'm gonna just 
start doming people. Okay. One down. When I find you, I'm gonna eat your spleen. Yeah, yeah, I think another guy once told me that. Ooh, in the back. Oh, shit. Come here. Come here. Wow, you said that at the wrong time. Just turned around and I just pre pretty much lazed him. Okay, there's nothing really worth... There's nothing really worth it on him. Alright, moving on. Another fiend. Take his caps, though. Take his incinerator. Magnum. Repeater. Some drugs. Some ramen meat, fresh potato, take recipes, cook, cook stew, what the hell, I want to read this, what the hell is this? Interesting, it might come in handy, apparently he's a good cook, hunting rifle, okay, anything else? I'm assuming this says cook cook right here. Take his head. Caps. Fuel. Uh, I'll take his armor so I can sell it. Ooh. That, that was gross. His head exploded. That is nasty. Are there any more people that uh, he kind of killed around here that I should be picking up stuff for? No? Okay. Alright. Back to the camp. I have to admit, that was pretty easy. Once uh, Queen was out of the picture, he pretty much got, got himself killed. Didn't really have to lift a finger. One of the ranger vets looked at me, and I just about surrendered. Yeah, yeah, we've already heard that story twice. At least twice. I think, uh... I think they really need more speech. Like, uh... Definitely need more speeches. Rather than just, like... Like, a couple here and there, and then stuff that... Pretty much happened in the story already. Okay, so apparently he's here. So we gotta tell him about the head. I got good news and bad news. Good news, he's dead. Second of all, his cow's dead too. Got any more good news for me? Uh, I have a bounty. You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was dead? And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, this is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. That's two psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. Interesting, alright. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother, and they never leave her side. Where can I find her? Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. Okay. Alright, so apparently one more. So... He's right there, so we could probably set up at the gas station. Definitely going silent on this one. If I could just aim for like an arm or a leg or something like that, that'd be kind of nice. Oh. 
Someone noticed me. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of radiation just to avoid her. Okay. Step one. Find a good vantage point. This is not the time to be dehydrated. Come on. Where's my purified water? There we go. You know, got time for this shit. I got some sniping to do. Me and my trusty sniper rifle. Okay, we could probably set up in this building right here. I think I see one of her dogs. Ooh, two, two dogs. One down. Took up the head. Not bad, not bad. One down. One in the butt. So far she doesn't notice anything. Oh. I see one. Got one domed. Reload. Ah, one on the roof. Got it. Oof. If anyone from PETA is watching, I am so sorry. But this is mildly satisfying. Ah. If I can take this one down. There we go. That's another crit. And she has a lot of fucking dogs. Ah, she's got a pet too. Get along, little doggy. You don't know anything. Oh. oh shit. Oh shit. She is freaking out. Oh shit. <laughs> In the stomach. She got nailed pretty hard in the stomach there. Alright, let's collect my bounty. I'll take the brain. Um, guess I'll take the hide since it's pretty much weightless. Take that. Take that. Take the psycho. Take your head. That's nasty. Oh, hello! Bye-bye. <laughs> that was a nice little backflip you did there. Alright. Let's uh, go ahead, go around this entire area. Grab all the dog hides. And hopefully get the hell out of here. Because this trailer park doesn't seem like there's a lot. Human flesh. Human flesh. Some balls. And probably some crude joke. I'm not gonna even say it, because you probably know. Some flesh and balls. More flesh and balls. Okay, there's probably something up here instead. Yeah, there is. There is loot for days. Okay, let's see what's in the ammo boxes here. Pretty nice. Doctor's bag. Steady. Steady. Some tin cannage. Scrap metal. And a foot locker. And some ammo. Ooh. Not 
bad, not bad. Take your supply of water. A lot of human flesh, I have to admit. Take your weapons. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, we wait. We got there's a couple dogs up here too. Ammo box. Uh, I think we already got a lot of five five six. Back at uh back in my little shack. Oh, I'm going with going for sleep deprivation again. I really gotta sleep longer. Uh toolbox. Nothing good. Metal Some cigarettes. Programmers digest. And alright. Back to base. Evening. Alright, I have to admit, uh, we've done pretty good for this episode. We've, uh, fixed a lot of things. Still we've... working on that last bounty? Nope, I'm already done. If that's true, that'd be the last of them. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You've made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troopers. Can you bring them down alone? Oh, yeah. Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. No problem. Perimeter's been quiet since you left. The fiends are running scared. I doubt they'll give us any more trouble. Not for a long while. Oh. I have to admit we did pretty good. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a little nappy nap. If I could find a bunk. There we go. Have a quick nappy nap. And we're gonna go to a contress. Just so we can sell a few things and then uh, we'll head back to Novak and then we'll end the episode there. I have to admit, after two episodes of just like going around doing random shit, we've actually, we've actually been really productive this one. Like everything has kind of accumulated into uh, this episode where we got things repaired, everything was like all nice and ready to go. People are happy. Evening. A couple of fiends are dead. And pretty much watched Hilary and Sue. PETA might be notifying me any moment now about uh, some dead rabbit dogs. In which case, I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to him by, uh, by shooting a couple of people in the face. Because it's Fallout New Vegas. And I'll shoot anybody in the face in this video game. Okay, let's talk to Contreras before I sink any sink any uh, deeper. Here you go, Contreras. So you're back. Got anything Damn. for sale? Damn, you got a fuck ton of ammo. Okay, here's a repeater. I'm gonna save the hunting rifle for myself. Uh, here's some metal armor. I'm gonna keep the beret though. I think the bird would look nice on me. Here's some dog hide. Here's a fire hose. Here's a pack of cigarettes and accept. Give me a shot if you need anything. His lips weren't even moving. What the fuck? Okay, let's uh, let's head back to Novak and end the episode off there. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I don't really know what's going to happen next episode, but hopefully next episode will involve either 
Uh, coming back to McCarran and, and maybe uh, ask uh, Colonel Shu some questions. And then after that, let's maybe figure out something. Oh, you know what? I just remembered the guy's, uh, that sniper's name from uh, First Recon that lives in Novak. Uh, his name is Boone, so what we could do is next episode we can ask him some questions and maybe get him as a, uh, get him as a companion for a little bit. Maybe he has something interesting to talk about, which might be kind of cool. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I think I'm going to actually head back to my apartment, take a little nap. So thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time.